Welcome back to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. Today we're coming at you with a PCP pedals overdrive. Um, the gentleman park that owns and runs and builds PCP company, he donated two of his pedals. Uh, they're one-offs. He's playing around with some coloring and stuff, which by the way, stick to it, son, because you can't replicate that. Every one of these he does will look a little different. And I like it. I think it's really cool. But uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're catching my video, every year I kind of gather up used gear, new gear, experimental gear, and give away a full entire guitar rig to a child who otherwise would not have the opportunity to play guitar that wants to play. I don't ask for belly rubs, I don't ask for back pats, but uh, it's awesome when companies do stuff like get a hold of you and be like, dude, what you're doing is awesome, can I send you something? Yes, you can. This year I had almost enough of two complete rigs. How awesome is that? So next year we have a head start or maybe I'll do the summer vacation learn guitar thing where maybe uh, I can hook up with some of the guys I know that teach guitar, give away a rig. And give away maybe a 30 minute lesson every two weeks or something with someone who does lessons and hook up, get up with a rig during summer vacation and some lessons. And by the end of summer vacation, she'll know how to play guitar. That'd be actually pretty dope. But anyway, this is what we got we have a tone, a volume, a gain, and a uh, S, which, um, I don't know what that does, to be honest with you. I just leave it in the middle. <laughs> but anyhow, we are going to put everything at noontime. We are going to turn on the amp and run a run what you brown. I will say I uh, cheated a little bit. Usually you're hearing it the first time, but last night... Uh, Park was asking me what I thought of, wow, that on the side really is awesome. It's all purple. I know it's hard to tell with all the green lights, but that, that purple with the glitter. I'll take one of these in the purple glitter, the same. Um, yeah. <laughs> Light purple a little bit. All right, so let's plug this thing in. Get ourselves fired up. All right, so. The raw guitar tone that we have. good guitar tone going. Also have a really fucking good cup of coffee. Death Wish Sun. Always drink Death Wish coffee. Why? Because they just do it better than anybody else. Big shout out to my boy Sean Matthews. Why? First time I ever had Death Wish coffee was at his house. And I was hooked instantly. And I even stepped up my Death Wish coffee game. If you all have a Walmart in your area... They sell caffeine water. That's right. Death Wish coffee made of caffeine water. If you don't think my tank isn't vibrating on a level that yours can possibly accomplish, you'd be wrong. Because right now I am sitting on the vibrating taint of the universe. Just saying. It's tainty, it's stanky, it's vibrating like a motherfucker. Alright. Excuse the bad words, but I'm still on my first cup of coffee. Don't know how to behave my behave myself yet. <laughs>
gotta turn that down a little bit. she got loud. has nothing to do with this pedal. The pedal runs really nice and clean. But the gain actually, I'm going to show you how much gain this thing actually adds to your, this could almost be a distortion pedal, not an overdrive pedal. It's got a shit ton of gain. So we're going to go to the clean channel. We're going to turn it off. So the clean channel. This is the clean channel. PCP turned with the gain all the way down.
I think this sounds monstrous, right? So without it, we have... just slays all right destroys it's a fantastic overdrive but again because my boys are just like but dude can it seven string it can but this sexy ass pink guitar i mean come the fuck on man this magic in this guitar just saying you also know what's funny? Just kind of online chat a little bit with Jamie Slays. If you don't watch his channel, go check it out. The dude's awesome. He's like, he just seems like the nicest guy ever. He's one of those dudes you definitely want to meet in person, you know? And uh, he's getting one of these to put a signature pickup in. The signature pickup is kind of stacked sort of like the uh, the old Ibanez gem ones that Steve I did with the neon green and pink. He's going to put them in a pink solar. That's going to look pretty tight. So, of course... You know, I already had planned when I when I saw his signature pops. I was like, "All right, I like Jamie, so I'm gonna support him." And he has something to signature out. I'll get it. So in 2021, I'm gonna order a set of his legendary pickups. And I was gonna put him in this. Now I can't because he's gonna do it. Stole my idea, son. But that's all right. You definitely should buy a pink solar. I am proof that these things just have magic in them. Don't know if yours will have magic, but mine does. And if yours don't, I will go na 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 boo boo because. I am a spiteful piece of shit like that. All right, so we got the seven string soda. Plug that in. We are not gonna touch nothing, except for obviously the take off standby. And you know, we are gonna have a cup of co a little sip of coffee because well, yeah, you know, it's morning. It's stupid early. It's like six thirty a.m. Way before chug time. If you must chug, chug on. Chug on, my wayward son. All right, so I'm plugged in. Yeah, I had to check that. Because it happens. Here's my tone before the PCB overdrive.
sounds good, but it's definitely missing something, right? Touch no settings from the sixth string onto the seventh string. Hold on to your asshole. Tug on it tight. Shit boat go down. <laughs> PCP overdrive pedal. The thing just kills. Only thing I'd like to see different on it, and I told Park this myself, I'd like it to be able to get a little more chimey. Right now, it's at top chiminess. It needs, the tone needs to go a little higher, or have a little treble booster knob, or a treble booster, like you can push it, you know, just give it a, a mid slash treble boost by just punching in a button or flicking up a toggle. Just a for the low tuned guys to give them that little, that little eh that we all crave uh, when we down tune. But really, at the end of the day, I could just 
add mids or an EQ and really get around that problem. But in today's environment, what do we want? We want one pedal to do it all because we're whiny. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks again to Park at PCP. Um, it, giving to my giveaway every year, when people do that, it just takes me back. And it's a big deal. You know, when Park sends something like this out, that cost him money. He paid to ship it. He didn't take any money for shipping. He gave me a fuzz and an overdrive to give this kid, which building materials, it could cost him, that could have cost him a hundred bucks round trip, basically. And uh, in this day and age, to give up a hundred dollars worth your stock and forget about your time building it and stuff, that's huge. So definitely check out, follow him on Instagram and on Facebook. That's P period C period. P pedals. All right, there'll be a link down below uh, that you can catch. If you're catching this video on Facebook, please, please go like his page. Watch what this guy is up to. This overdrive pedal is really good. It really is good. Like I said, the only complaint I had is I like to be able to push it a little more into uh, crispy territory, but I'm also a whiner, you know. Somebody else, it might be perfect. Me? Eh. I like it extra crispy. You all remember that commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken? The same. Anyhow, Cat's out of South Carolina. And uh, it seems like lately a, a lot of really good pedal builders are coming out of the Carolinas. You know? Magic down there all of a sudden? I don't know. But it's a great pedal. It looks really cool. I like the, how he's messing around with that color design. <laughs> Uh, it'd be cool to see one done with, like, the purple smear in it. Just do the black with the purple smear, purple and gold. It'd also be really cool to see a crimson one. Yeah, call it the crimson tie. Have a little white pull string at the bottom of it or something. Anyhow, yeah, I'm a nasty to say. All right, very cool. I don't really have anything else to say. Um, as always, I'm going to try to make it a point at the end of my videos to tell people to go check some people out. All right. Always, always go check out my boy, Luis Torres. Why? He's the happiest guy on the planet and it shows. Although I would like to see him get some cavities so that big ass fucking chicklets he has for a fucking mouth will start to take a beating, but he'd just go get it fixed. <laughs> he, he smiles all the time. He has to have a good looking smile, especially what he does for work. He's a photographer. So if you're in upstate New York or... New York City probably even, he would do, or somewhere. What the hell? Who's watching Netflix? Well, sure the fuck ain't me. I'm recording a video. Shh. Quiet now. All right. TV got some something weird happening with it. It's never just turned on on its own. Maybe I should back off the Blackcraft cult clothing. I'm not a Satan worshiper. Just saying. I just like the aesthetics of the clothing. Calm your tits. Alright, so anyhow. Luis Torres. Go check him out. Alright. Always check out a boy out in Texas. Jason Frankhauser. Alright. Go check him out. He's got a really cool channel. I believe it's called Texas Tones. Something like that. or Killer Tone. There we go. Killer Tone, Texas. Go check that out. His channel is phenomenal. Uh, he's a great player. Super nice guy. Um, always support the nice guys, man. Just take the time. Check out Jamie Oakenfeld over at Jamie Slays. He's the one I was talking about with the purple guitar. He does like some of the coolest videos. I'm still waiting for the Evergrey video. Just saying. I'm still waiting for the Evergrey video. I want to see the ev best Evergrey riffs. If you need help with what riffs to play, holler at your boy. I know my Evergrey. All right. And since I was talking about Evergrey, a fellow lover of the Evergreys, Arnold plays guitar. Go check that guy's channel out. He's a total sweetheart, sarcastic as hell, and uh, really has good content. Um, go support that guy. You know? Take care of these guys. Why? They're the ones that are making the content that's worth watching. And um, as always, keep an eye on Keith Marrow. And my boy Fluff. Actually, Fluff's been killing it lately. Ryan has just 
that him being locked up in the house has been great for content. He really has done a fantastic job. He's put a lot of really good stuff out there. And if uh, you want to check out like some other guys that do small builder stuff, um, go check out Angry Tones there. Um, Greg Campbell, Angry Tones. Go check that out. He uh, does a lot with like small builders and stuff with their overdrive pedals and fuzz and stuff of that sort. Likes his Randalls. A lot. All right. Gear used. Solar guitars. No brainer. Kind of figured that, right? And the amp. Because I always get this thing. Whenever I use this amp, everyone's like, dude, what amp did you use? Uh, that was a Boss Katana. Just so you know. That's how good this overdrive is. I got those tones on a Boss Katana. I don't run through anything. It's a cell phone audio. Galaxy S10, baby. That's a Boss Katana you are hearing. Katana. Solid state. 2x12. Version 1. I never got a Mach 2. They were supposed to send me one, but they never did. Cheap bitches. COVID hit and they fucking ran for the hills. <laughs> it's actually happened with a lot of people. Oddly enough. So, uh... Yeah, PCB pedals, follow them, check them out. Um, to my knowledge, from talking to him, it sounds like he doesn't keep a stock available. So if you want something, you got to remember, you're getting something that's hand-built by hand in the United States of America. If you get one from him, it's being built when you order it. All right? So if you want that thing in two days, calm your tits. That guy works a real job. All right? And he's a super nice guy. Do not... Go to that guy and go, TDS sent me. I want it now. Don't do that. Because <laughs> my response to him when he gets a hold of me, it's like the last company that happened would be to tell you to go fuck yourself. Don't ever demand. Demanding's rude. More rude than me using vulgarity in my videos. For those who don't like the fact that I swear a little. I mean, I do quit the thing says it's not for kids. If you're watching it around your kids, well, you should know who you're playing with, son. Always know who you're playing with. <laughs> All right. Very cool. You'll have yourself a great day. Uh, curling cables. For those of you who wonder what I use for cables, it's always curling. You could ask me a million times, give me the same answer. Curling cables. I love those guys. Love them. Always use them. And they don't pay me or give me shit. Well, they do give me stuff, but I give it to you. So they tend to give me stuff when I order stuff. So I'm already ordering what I need. But yeah, very cool. All right. Y'all be good. I'll catch you in the next video. Apparently, Netflix wants me to watch The Badlands. Into The Badlands. I've never watched it. And I didn't turn the TV on. Maybe I'm supposed to watch it. Looks like they had a tour. Oh, it's 72... Oh, now they want me to watch 72 Dangerous Places to Live. That's a tornado. A hard pass. All right. Y'all be good. Subscribe to my channel, man. Come on. Subscribe to it. Watch a video every once in a while. And if you're not watching the video, just let the fucker roll. Why not? Help your boy out. All right. Very good. Catch y'all later. Ciao.